Hey, you know what it's time for, Shaq? Yeah. Outside the NBA? Outside the NBA. Outside the NBA outside? on Facebook. This is not NBA. This is outside of it. And we're joined by Gary Payton. She picked Oregon State because your mom picked Oregon State. My mama State. picked Oregon State. Oh. Still, you saw what talking about. Go to Kobe's side. Nah, player, we ain't going to get it back if we go over there, man. Let's go over here. My first question is, is Gary going? Because if Gary's going, then I'm always going. Because we sit in the back, and I just, I'm in tears, literally tears. I have yeah. a confession. What's yeah. that? Gary made a barbecue chicken, not me. Get out. Did you really? I used to tell my guys, no matter what Gary says, don't talk back to him. <laughs> Let the sleeping dog lie. I used to talk about their mama, their daddy, <laughs> their sister. The glove. The glove. Hall of Famer. 11-time All-Star. Hall of Famer. NBA <laughs> champion. You got a lot of stuff on your dress. Yeah. Uh, you, you got a lot of stuff on your you're resume. You're from Oakland, man, with all that on your resume. You're a champ. I didn't ever think about it. I'm a champ. You're a champ. Yeah, I'm well, well, 126. Yeah, I'm 26. You guys, you guys together. Yeah. yeah. What do you remember most about that year? Carrying him. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I'm sorry. You know what, Ernie? I wasn't even supposed to go in there and play a lot. I only came because of, because of Shaq. And um, then um, White Chocolate went down. Yeah. And then I started playing. And we was bad at first. And then I made a, after Dallas, after a Dallas game, I, I put everybody in and I said, well, look here, we playing for ourselves. We ain't playing for none of these other guys. And I told Shaq to take control because he had the most voice. And he started taking control and stepping up with people and, and talking to Pat the way he should talk to him and tell Pat to calm down and let us play. And when we played, we became a, a group. We became brothers. And then <laughs> that after that, we won like 18 in a row. <laughs> he and then we that. was good. We was good. But he was our he was our rock. And you know, I, I was the oldest guy on the team, but he was our rock. And I just kept everybody together. I just made sure that we didn't get out of pocket. You know, everybody on the team, we all went out all the time. We just had fun. Mm -hmm. You know, we was one of them groups that we was together and off the court we were together and it made us better on so, the court. So let me ask you a question. Why Oregon State? You know, um, Chuck, I, I, I chose St. John's University. Okay. I committed to St. John's University. Oh, that would you in New York. Yeah, and then uh, Louis kind of second called right the day that you're going to. You know, we had a press conference and stuff in, in our gym, and he called and said he didn't want to take he didn't want to take me because it would have upset a lot of guys in the East. Wow. And, and I was the first time he had recruited past the Mississippi, and so he took another guy. And wow. I was wow. so. I don't think nobody. You told this story before. Yeah, second. I took it. And then what? I, you know, and, and to this day, he always say he's sorry. And then the, the, their coach was uh, Rutledge. Ron Rutledge. Ron Rutledge. He yeah. was the one who recruited me. Yeah. And he said, you're making a mistake. You're making a mistake on this kid. And I was so upset, Chuck, that I went home and everybody found out that I didn't sign with St. John's. Mm -hmm. And all the scholarships start coming back. And then my mom, I told my mom, I just said, Mom, look, I, I'm not making the right decision. So won't you do it? And she picked she picked Oregon State because your of, mom picked my Oregon mama State? picked Oregon State. She she I told her whatever envelope she comes with with whatever scholarship that I was gonna sign it. And um, when she did it and we did the press conference, I opened it up and it was Oregon State. How did you know Oregon there was State. a good story? Oh, yeah. in that. You're doing, so you're doing a press I, I didn't conference. Know that. And said, I said I'm gonna I'm going to. Um, yeah, and I opened it up, and yeah. I'm going to Oregon, Oregon State. State. I'm going to Oregon State. And then Oregon State coach, uh, Coach Anderson, came out, and it was, it was a good fit for me. It was a great fit for me. Wow. It well, look, great you, fit. Let me also you put say him on the that, map. Yeah, yeah, let me also say we've, we've always appreciated your support of the University of Georgia as well, <laughs> um, especially against Oklahoma. I'm going there Monday. Monday. Are you? I'm going to the Rose Bowl Monday. Georgia. Yeah, uh, Georgia's going to beat them. Yeah. I think they're going to beat Oklahoma. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thanks for being our guest. That's all Georgia for oh, us. Right. Yeah. Yeah. No, you know, here's something we do want to do. We want to show uh, – we spent Christmas Day, Christmas night in Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. We were uh, we did the Lakers game against Minnesota, and apparently there was some behind the scenes footage and some other stuff. So wait, what happened? Yeah, no, it's just here's just yeah. a kind of a look at our day in uh, in L.A. The powers that be at Turner Broadcasting have done the unthinkable. They have picked the lock and sent us on the road to do the entire game. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas from the bottom of my heart. Happy Holidays! 
Feliz Navidad. Sing it, Chuck. Feliz Navidad. Sing it, Chuck. Feliz Navidad. I just want to say to all the kids out there, I hope Santa Claus was good to you. Merry Christmas to all the kids out there, man. Bless you. Jokes. Is that real? Happy holidays. Happy holidays. some new jokes. Hey, we here in Lakerland. We here in Lakerland. The house that who built? Who built this house? Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. We are underway at Staples Center. We appreciate you being with us on your Christmas night. He has the Grinch painted on his sneakers. Jones to Butler to town. Oh, oh, oh don't look oh. at him. Don't look at him like that. Oh, oh. I see you. Yeah, bu bu oh, barbecue, barbecue chicken. chicken. <laughs> barbecue <laughs> chicken <laughs> alerts. Did you give us the barbecue chicken alert because oh, you yeah. knew Shaq was? Shaq. You tell us Shaq. I saw him. That was a barbecue chicken alert. I want to wish you a right. man. Oh, oh. I want to wish. Oh, yeah. That was terrible. Who produced that? Right. I haven't, heard, heard, I haven't heard, heard you give a really good turbo in a while. That was a good one. Right, thank you, Ernest. That was vintage Chuck. Can I see Kenny and Chuck's Christmas card again? We're finished. <laughs> <laughs> we are finished. Please. We got shots for that. Now. That Christmas is over, boy. Dang. <laughs> Merry Christmas to all. Oh, a good night. Uh, that's a nice father-son shot well, of you. Yeah. KJ Ernie. going on. Look, look, KJ. Take that stuff off of there. Man, we don't need what? Ernie, Chuck, and Kenny, I have yeah. a confession. What's yeah. that? Gary made a barbecue chicken, not me. Get out. Did yeah. you really? Is this Gary another story? Is that another that barbecue chicken yeah. is not Shaq you? going to give up all our yeah. little secrets. Yeah. Man, that's your yeah. barbecue chicken. Yeah. Gary always used to look for me. Like Phil always used to say, swing the ball. Gary's like, nope, I'm throwing to Shaq. So every now and then I like to... You know, show my Akeem Olajuwon and you go to my fadeaway and Gary be like, no, man, barbecue chicken. Eat his ass like some barbecue chicken. Don't you shoot another fadeaway. Don't you shoot another fadeaway. So that's a, that's, a yes. yeah. that that a that's a true story. It's a true story because I used to always yeah. tell him, I was like, man, you got barbecue chicken up in there, man. Eat him up. <laughs> go in there and get the ball, man, because uh, you know Phil used to always talk yeah. about Go to Kobe's side. Nah, player, we ain't gonna get it back if we go over there, man. Let's go over here. He can double, kick it back out, man. We good. Or we got barbecue chicken in there. So that's how it was. Hey, what's barbecue. what's the best? Because you know everybody knows what kind of player you were, Gary, and a great defender. And and but you you also talked. And he's so so barbecue chicken is attributed to you. What do you think when Shaq and the fool he yeah, made up to? When people no. when people are telling stories about, oh, I remember when I played Gary Payton, and he said. This. What's your? What was your best line? What was your best smack talk? You can't repeat what Ernie, I can't to say, repeat Ernie. what yeah. I used to say. Yeah. I used to get on everybody. We was talking about it with Chuck. Chuck didn't know that I used to talk about their mama, their daddy, <laughs> their sister, their brother. I didn't care. You know what I'm saying? It was just yeah. on the court. You know, it wasn't personal. You know what I'm saying? I didn't know what their mama or whatever was doing. So like today, it's real soft. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Somebody would have said something about my wife that they did something with her. I did it with yours too. <laughs> you, know you know what I'm saying? I did it with yours too. So, you know, we was there last night with him. What was that? Where you was at? Why you was with your homeboys. You know what I'm saying? They got to come back at them. Yeah. You know, you can't get sensitive in this. In this oh, you were deep. You cutting deep. Oh, I'm cutting them deep. Oh, cutting oh, I'm cutting them deep. deep. They, they want to cut it deep. You know what I It was funny. I remember the, because a lot of people want to, like now, the NBA, they'll ask you, do you want to go on these trips and you kind of be ambassadors? And I'm all, my first question is, is Gary going? <laughs> because if Gary's going, then I'm always going. Because we sit in the back and I just, I'm in tears, literally tears. <laughs> but I asked him one time, I said, Gary, you never really talk trash to me, man. Like, I was waiting for it. He's like, oh, you ain't, you ain't really get into that. So I just went to Vernon. Like, you weren't even getting into <laughs> yeah. it. So you were just, I was like, oh, my God. Did you ever talk God. trash to, uh, to Jet? No, no, no. Kenny wasn't really that type of guy. You don't know what type of guy you want to go at, and then Kenny don't go at you like that. And then I, you know, I'll, I'll talk to Chuck because you know he verbal. You know, man, he try to punk a lot, a lot. <laughs> Stop, man. Yeah. He, he, he be like to punk a lot of my guys, and I used to have to run up on him and and do that. So, but Kenny wasn't the dude. I wanted Vernon more. 
I yeah. wanted Stop Oh, him that, and Vernon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I wanted Vernon. He couldn't, man. Come on. Leave that alone. Leave that alone, man. <laughs> he brought him and, but the crazy thing, him and Vernon would go so hard at it, and then right after the game, they meet yeah, at the same yeah. place, yeah. restaurant yeah. to eat. And we'd be right together. Okay, yeah. we, got, we got some photos up upstairs. Okay, so what are they saying? Oh, don't, don't. With, with Cousins, he probably like, what, what you doing? You know what I'm saying? He probably saying some bad words to him. Oh, these two KD guys. ain't talking about nothing, about these, really. These two guys, the two guys yeah. who won't fight. That's all that is, Ernie. Next. Either one of these guys going to fight. Oh, Beverly talking about you, little punk. <laughs> Come get it. Yeah, you that, supposed to be the man. Come get yeah, it. That was yeah. a t- that's a tough way to open up your NBA career. And we yeah. just your ball against. We uh, just had him on Ariel Beverly. 21, and that's what he said he was saying to him, too. So, you know, so, yeah, that's what he was going at him. Oh, Next. Ooh, and B, he talks a lot. And I don't know what, what Carmelo was saying. Carmelo was probably backing down on it. Carmelo ain't really a talker. You know what I'm saying? But and B, and B trying and B trying to tell him you better get What do you think that what do you think that the trash talk does? Did it help you or you think it discouraged the opponent more? Which one? Did it help That's you more it helped me, or it discourage helped, the opponent more? It helped me and discourage the opponent. Which one more? More helped me more. It helped you. Because that's what I was about. I was about getting on the floor. That was my whole thing coming into the game is to talk trash. And some days I didn't go in there, Kenny, having it all. You know what I'm saying? I didn't want to play sometime. And when that trash started mm-hmm. coming out, it made my competitiveness come out. Okay. And when I started going at it, and then when the players started getting used to me and they was like, man, don't talk to him. Don't talk to him because he's right. going to get it going. Right. And the coaches do it. Then I would go pick the referee or I go pick somebody in the stands. And then, you know, them fans, they always want to get at it. So, right. yeah, it's, it, you, you, I'm going to go at you. Were there, oh, were there guys who would not get involved with, with who, who just – They'd hear you, and they just everybody. Was, and it was everybody like the, at the wild, Ernie. Did nobody go at me. You, you know what's nobody. nobody? No, but that you couldn't get under their skin. Were there John guys? John Stockton. John Stockton. Really? Could never. Shaq, I always got at you, man, because no, you, you always be talking about. <laughs> Shaq, you always be talking about. I'm, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna break your back, throw that high arch <laughs> thing. But this guy right here, he was the one. He always mm-hmm. just stayed away from me. He didn't say a thing to me, and it got to me so much because what he did was is. He just didn't pay attention to me. And I said, what am I doing? And then all of a sudden, <laughs> and then all of a sudden he'll tell me, he'll take a charge, he'll get me on the bench, and then he'll just look at me and nod. You know, uh, <laughs> you know what's interesting, Ernie? What? When we're taping this, a great example last night, Russell Westbrook couldn't get it going. And he gets into a shoving match. Uh, with, with the center. With the center. Uh, well, no, no, Valachunas. Valachunas, yeah, I've seen that. Yeah. Ernie, it was one of the most amazing things I've seen. From that point on, Russell went ballistic. They went from down 10 to up 16. <laughs> it was crazy. And, and we used to, I, I used to tell my guys before the game, no matter what Gary says, don't talk back to him. <laughs> because... Kevin. We do not want, we let the, we, that's saying, you heard, let the sleeping dog lie. Let him lie. <laughs> yes. And Kenny, we played together twice, and that's the only way I could communicate with Gary. Like, like, like Gary and myself, we don't respect nice talk. Like, we used to get in, in each other's face like we was going to fight. But, you know, people didn't know that that's mm-hmm. what got him going. Like, you know, I'd be talking, well, I was the only one that could really talk to him like that. Everybody, <laughs> man, don't you feel like Gary, relax. So, I mean, but that's the only way I get him going, just by getting in the face and yelling at him. Yeah, he, he brought the only one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That, wait, wait, wasn't going to work everybody else. That, yeah. uh, that is about a wrap, that for, a wrap. <laughs> for Outside Good the stuff, NBA yeah. on Facebook. Good stuff. TP, always a pleasure. Yeah, always baby. a pleasure. Right. Happy New Year to you. Thank you. Uh, Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, Glow. Happy, Happy, Happy New Year. Oh, uh, stop it. <laughs> Why you leave that alone? Man, man. Let it leave go. Hubie alone. I love you, Hubie. <laughs> <laughs>